Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an entire Chanel collection video. I haven't done one of these in the longest time. In fact, I think I've only ever done one and that was about three years ago. So it's been a really long time. One of my viewers, Toya, suggested I do an updated one. So that is what I'm doing here today. I'm going to be going over my complete Chanel collection, everything from shoes to SLGs and of course handbags as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up, I'm going to be going over shoes and accessories. I only have one in each category. And first up are a pair of shoes. So these are the only Chanel shoes I own now. And these are in the very classic Chanel colorway of beige and black. So they have the black fabric toe tip and then they also have the beige leather. And these ones actually have a metallic heel. They do do them in the kind of, I think it's a leather heel. I'm not fully sure, um, but I loved the metallic heel just because I think it's, I know it just adds a little bit something extra. These are quite a traditional shoe, so I like the fact that the mirrored heel made them a little bit more modern. And I absolutely love these. I got these for my birthday last year, and I think they are so gorgeous. They're extremely comfortable, and I just love these to bits. And then for my accessories, I just have the one brooch. I'm not sure if this counts as accessories or jewelry, but either way, this is the only thing I have from either accessories or jewelry. And it is my little jeweled brooch. I love this. I've had this for quite a while now. I've had it for several years and I just love it. I don't always remember to wear it, and so I kind of go through phases of wearing this, but whenever I do, I just kind of pop it onto a jacket or a blazer. I've worn it on top of sweaters. I've worn it on top of so many things, and I just love it. I think it adds just a little bit of something extra, and the price range for these really vary. I think I got mine for around about the 250 pound mark, but they can go way up for what looks like very similar models. So if you are looking for a Chanel brooch, I would definitely check the prices of a few different ones because I was comparing two very similar ones and there was like a £150 difference between this one and the one I was looking at. So always, always check the prices. I'm very happy with this one. I thought it was a fairly good price. I've gotten a ton of wear out of it. And considering Chanel is obviously a very expensive brand, I do think this is one of the better value for money items you can get from there. Next up are SLGs and I have four here. So I have one larger wallet and then three smaller card holders. I'm not gonna go in any particular order, although I will say that I do think this one is probably my favorite just because I'm a huge fan of pale pink, which you'll probably know if you've watched my channel before, but I love this colorway so much. It does just have the chevron pattern and then you have this beautiful brushed gold hardware, which I think is so stunning. It's a very simple item. So it just kind of opens up with a button closure and then you have an open space right here and then just one card slot there so very simple the wear and tear has been pretty good I think I actually spilled coffee on this once and then it just wiped right off and I didn't put any protectant on it either so it's done very well I was horrified when I spilled the coffee but it was all good it's done really well no wear and tear I will say that I do think that the leather is kind of a bit more distressed anyway so that does help um, but yeah, I absolutely love this one. And then very similar to that is my blue card holder, except this one just has the straight edge, whereas this one has a little kind of dip there. Um, but this one is in lambskin, and considering it is lambskin, it has also done pretty well. I see a little bit of wear on the corners, but that's really it. It's still very puffy, and the quilting is just absolutely beautiful on it, I think. This one has silver hardware, and I do just have a few cards in there at the moment. And then again, it's a simple design on the inside. You just have one card there and just an open space so these two even though they do have a different sign on the front slightly they are the same on the inside but yeah again I can't say anything bad about this one I think it's absolutely gorgeous I love the colors and I always say if you are not good with colors like I am with your bags then I think SLGs are a great way to indulge in some bright colors just because you don't have to match them to anything and I think it's just fun when you open up your bag grab your card holder or wallet and you just have a really pretty pop of color so if you don't want pops of color in your bag but you do like them in general then SLGs are a great way to do that my final card holder is a slightly different design so this one actually opens up this one is in navy caviar again with brushed gold hardware and this one just has card slots on the inside. You also have an area here for photo ID or a photo. And then on the back, you also have a card slot here. I love this one. I actually got this one pre-loved and I was so happy to get it because I missed out on it first time round and it was pretty much new. She hadn't used it at all. So 
very happy with my little trio of card holders. I do recommend these. I think they are so gorgeous. They aren't too expensive in Chanel world. Obviously, these are still very pricey pieces, but these will typically run between two to 300 pounds, maybe a little bit more with the price increases. It depends which one you go for, um, but still compared to other brands and also their bags, I do think that these represent fairly good value for money in Chanel world, and I absolutely love mine. And then finally, I do have one full-size Chanel wallet. This is actually the only full-size Chanel wallet I own. It's in the chevron pattern in the rose gold colorway and it just opens up with a button closure. Then you have a space for card slots right there. You have an area for cash and then you also have a space for coins with this zip compartment right here. And then you also have one area for papers or extra cards and some extra spaces here as well. It is a large wallet, but I would say out of all the wallets I own, this doesn't really make my favorites just because I think that even though it's functional, it is quite a large wallet. And especially when I compare it to other wallets I own, like my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, I think that really makes use of its space very well. Whereas I can't really say the same for this one. And especially when I consider the price and it was expensive, I think it was about 600 150 pounds I do think you can do better or otherwise I would just rather go for a smaller Chanel SLG so I do still like this but I do think that there are better value options out there now on to bags and I'm not going in any particular order this is just what I grab first and first up is my Chanel Deville tote I got this not this Christmas but last Christmas I've had it about a year and a bit and I absolutely love it this is the smaller size they do do two sizes the larger one also has the longer shoulder straps but it also has has a shorter top handle. I prefer this one just because I prefer the sizing. I think that the large one is very, very large. So it's great if you like super huge bags, but I think this size is perfect. It's still a very, very roomy bag. Mine is in the navy and the white, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I do have a shoe box in there currently, and this is a good little trick if you wanted to display yours, which is what I do with mine. It's really difficult to get it to completely stand upright, but a shoe box fits perfectly and it just gives it a lot of structure. So if you have this bag, I definitely try it out. I was very happy when I found that out, but it's just very plain on the inside. It does have a navy lining. It's a very, very lightweight bag. There isn't a whole ton of leather on this one. And then you do just have the one pocket right there. This is done really well. I was actually really concerned about wear and tear, but I've had no issues at all, no color trend, transfer, no pulling. It's just been incredibly useful, very comfortable to wear because of the leather straps and I just absolutely love this. And now for two of my oldest Chanel bags. The first one is actually the very first Chanel bag that I ever bought. It's the Mademoiselle line bag. This is in black with silver hardware. I've been saving for the longest time and I desperately wanted a Chanel classic flap, but even though they were way cheaper back then, it was still completely out of my reach in terms of price. So I saw this pre-loved on eBay and I loved it. It was a great deal cheaper and it very much still had the classic Chanel look that I was after, but much cheaper than the classic flaps so I decided to get it and I was so thrilled this was my only Chanel bag for the longest time and I really really got a lot of use out of it it is looking as aged now so it is kind of collapsing in on the sides a little bit but considering how old it is I think I must have got this oh it's over 10 years old for me and I don't know how old it was when I first bought it but all things considered, it's done very well. It's in lambskin and lambskin is still very puffy and shiny. And I just have so many good memories with this bag. So I don't think I'll ever sell it. I don't wear it much anymore, but I can't imagine ever getting rid of this bag. It's a very simple classic flap. So on the inside, I just have a fabric lining. So it's not leather, so it is quite a bit lighter. And then you do just have the zip pocket right here and then an extra pocket here. So I just tend to stuff it with t-shirts to keep it shaped. So yeah, lots of memories with this one very old now but still very loved and then the other bag is a pearl pink quilted flap with gold hardware this is actually from back in the day when they used to do gold plated hardware so this is gold plated i think this is the only gold plated hardware that i own i absolutely love this bag i also got this pre-loved and again it was fairly used when i got it still in very good condition and it's done very well. There is some wear and tear, I do think, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there is a bit of ombre color dye here because of the sun. Um, but apart from that, it's done 
pretty well considering how much I've used it. I have used this an absolute ton. This one is what I call a classic flap, but technically what constitutes a classic flap is the presence of a double flap. So technically, unless it has a double flap, it isn't a classic flap, but it still has that kind of classic Chanel flap shape. And then this one does have leather on the inside and then just one zip pocket and then also one kind of normal pocket as well. Absolutely love this one. The colorway is right up my street. I love the mixture of the gold with the pale pink. Definitely well loved and used, but still very much a classic. Next up is the second newest addition to my collection. This is the Chanel Jumbo in the Beige Claire. I got mine in the Caviar with the gold hardware. I wanted this for the longest time. I finally got it during my birthday month last year, and I absolutely love it. I really did it about this because it is the most expensive bag in my collection by far. I never spent this much on a handbag. I do have another jumbo, but I bought that many years ago when it was a lot cheaper than it is now. But I've got to say, no regrets. I absolutely love it. I think that the light color is really beautiful. I know not everyone is a fan of the Beige Claire, but I think it's stunning, particularly in gold, and I'm just a huge fan of the size. Anyone that watches the channel regularly will know how much I love the jumbo. I think it's the ideal everyday bag. Obviously a very luxurious everyday bag, but in terms of size and capacity, you can fit so much inside and I just love the way it looks. And now for my second newest to my newest, I got this for Christmas this year and it is a Chanel wallet on a chain. This is in the light blue color. Lots of people call this the Tiffany blue color. It's not exactly the same as Tiffany blue, but it is very similar. And this is just the classic wallet on chain. So you open it up inside and it has many card slots and then one zip compartment here and then another compartment here. I have used this a couple of times already and I've got to say I have been getting on with it a lot better than my first one. I did own this I think was it in the red caviar I think I originally got the lambskin I exchanged it for the caviar I didn't get on with it at all I found it really really small but since then I've gotten a lot more on board with crossbody bags and also mini bags in general and this is actually bigger than I remember it I remember a big bugbear for me previously was that I could not fit my keys in and for whatever reason I can fit my keys in a lot better and they're the same kind of keys so I don't really know, it's a weird thing, um, but I haven't really been liking it. I still think that the chain is too long and I'm fairly tall at five foot seven, but the chain is very long, even crossbody on me. So I do wish that they would make the chain a bit shorter, but so far, no other complaints. I think it's such a beautiful color and I'm very, very happy with it so far. Next up is a Chanel Mini. This is in the lambskin in this kind of raspberry red color with pale gold hardware. I'm also of the opinion that the chain on this is a little bit too long for my taste, but apart from that, I do really like it. I would say out of the minis, I do still prefer my square mini, but I do still really love this one. It has a pocket on the back and then on the inside, just plain old open space with again, one kind of regular pocket and then one zipped pocket. This one does have a very similar capacity to the small flap and also the medium large flap, which I don't think a lot of people would assume by looking at them, but because of the absence of the double flap, this one is both lighter and also you can fit in a lot more as a result. So it is surprisingly roomy, so you can definitely fit the essentials in. And I think this is just such a beautiful bag. I don't wear this as much as I should. I'm not very good with pops of color, but I do really enjoy it whenever I do wear it. And I just think it's so beautiful. And now onto what I consider to be my three favorite Chanel bags. And at first up, is my small flap in the rose gold. I've got to say that this was definitely a grower. I always loved it and I particularly fell in love with the colorway, but I wasn't necessarily that sure about the size. However, I do really love it now. It's not that practical. I've got to say you can't fit that much in here, but I've used this for both day and night. And if you're willing to really minimize what you carry, it can still be a very nice option. I can pretty much only wear this over the shoulder. It's a little bit too short to wear crossbody for me. And again, the size is a bit too small for me to want to wear it doubled up, but just across the shoulder, it works perfectly fine for me and I do really love it. That said, I do still think that these aren't particularly good value for money. These are about double the price of the rectangle minis and they fit pretty much the same amount, if not a little bit less than the rectangle mini. And that is because of the presence of the double flap. The double flap does help to keep the structure, but it really does limit the capacity. And as you can see, it is a 
very small bag. So if you're looking at a fair Chanel bag and you're debating between the two, I do think that the rectangle mini represents much better value for money. But as I said, I still do really enjoy this size and I have been loving mine. And next up is my Chanel Mini. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favourites in my entire collection, let alone just my Chanel collection. I think this is such a stunning little bag. I got this pre-loved and I actually bought it before the whole mini craze happened, so I didn't pay a premium for mine, thank goodness. I know I see so many of them going for retail or sometimes even above that on the pre-loved market, which is so crazy, but I know they can be very difficult to get, but when I was first looking, they didn't have the hype that they do around them now, so I was able to score this pretty easily and I do just love it to bits. I think it's such a classic fun design. It can fit a decent amount considering it is such a small bag. Just plain old empty space as with all the others but I can fit all the essentials in here and I just love this. I've worn it so much. I've taken it on holiday with me. It's done incredibly well in terms of wear and tear and I just cannot get enough of this bag. And now I have my absolute favourite, which is my Chanel Jumbo. Anyone who watches this channel regularly will know how much I love this bag. It still absolutely remains my favourite. I do think it is the best of all Chanel's models. I tried the medium large before and even though I like it, I think that this represents much better value for money. It is a little bit more expensive than the medium large, but only a little bit and the capacity difference is enormous. You really can't fit very much inside the medium flap, whereas you can fit a ton in the jumbo. And I love it. You can use this for every day, for dinner. It's really versatile. It goes with so many different types of outfits. Mine's done incredibly well. I think this is seven years old now. I can only see the tiniest bit of wear on the corners and even then it's very minimal. The leather still looks beautifully shiny and I just love this bag, so it's definitely been well loved and used. I can't even count the amount of times I've used this. Inside I just have a bag liner with some tissues. Um, but yeah, I just only have glowing things to say about this bag. I know lots of people comment on the weight. It's definitely not a light bag, but for me I've never found it to be an issue. I can wear this all day long without any complaints or any aches or anything like that. And yeah, this is just my absolute favourite. I would recommend it to anyone. If I ever lost my back collection, this would be the first one that I'd want to try and buy again. I just think it's so beautiful and I love it to bits. And then finally, I do have two more bags, but I didn't want to include these in the main part of the video because I'm not planning on keeping these. They're both my Chanel boys and I have finally decided to part ways with them. Um, my debate around the Chanel boys has been well documented on my social media, I feel, but I have finally decided that I'm probably not going to get enough use out of them. So the first one is my Chanel boy in the black lambskin with the ruthenium hardware. And I don't have anything against these bags in terms of the functionality. They are perfect fine in terms of capacity. They're not huge but certainly not bad um, but it just comes down to the look and styling. I think I finally come to the conclusion that certainly at least in the colorways that I got these really aren't suited to me very much. Other people have suggested that maybe a nude combination might work a bit better so if one ever came up that caught my eye I'd be willing to give the style another go but Certainly in the black with ruthenium hardware, I do think that this is a little bit more edgy than my general day-to-day -day style, which does tend to go more to the classic side. So even though I think it's absolutely beautiful, I still love the style, which is why it's taken me so long to decide to part ways with it. I like the look of it on other people much more than I do on myself. So a sad goodbye, but these are just too expensive to keep sitting on my shelf without use. So again, nothing wrong with these bags, but just not really my style. And then the other boy I have is the pink one. And even though I am a huge pink fan, I think this is just a smidge too bright. And some people said this when I first got it and I didn't listen and everyone was completely right. So if you wrote me one of those comments, I fully admit that you are right. It's a very beautiful bag. This is in the Chevron with the beautiful silver hardware. This is much shinier than their normal silver hardware. I think it's just gorgeous, but yeah, I don't wear this bag at all. So. Again, another one which I love the look of objectively, but I just couldn't really incorporate into my day-to-day -day style. So again, nothing wrong with it, but I just don't think that the Chanel boys are right for me. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of these bags or items, then let me know down below and I will try and get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.